Hi and welcome back to Art a la carte. Today we're going to be drawing the wolf body. We had a video earlier where we drew a wolf head, but then I had several requests on how to draw the wolf body, so we're going to do that today. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that the way I teach is by um, teaching you to find the shapes that go to create what you're wanting to draw and then build on top of those shapes. So we're going to start off with a circle shape here for the head and then we're going to come down just a little bit at a diagonal and we're going to put a larger circle shape, not too much bigger, but uh, maybe about almost twice as big of a circle for the chest area or, or the shoulders of the wolf. Now we're going to take and to know where to put the hips, we're going to draw the backbone of the wolf coming over. It's just going to come slightly, it's not going to go up and it's not going to go way down. It's just going to come in a nice swoop. And when it gets about half of this circle further, you know that that's going to be where the hips go. And the hips aren't necessarily, um, they might be a little bit even smaller than this area here. This is the powerhouse of all, um, especially predatory animals. Any kind of runny animal, the powerhouse is going to be in the two front legs and the chest area. So that is always going to take a little bit bigger. And then coming back to the hips, um, it's just going to be just a little bit slightly smaller. This is going to be just a straight profile view of a wolf standing. So now to get the, uh, the legs in there, I'm going to draw in the shoulder blades, put in my first joint muscle, come back to the back of the elbow, which is going to be right back um, at the, the base of the like a rib cage here. And then they're just going to come straight down. And there's going to be a part where it bends here, but he's just going to go straight. He's not bent. And I'm going to put the other leg coming in behind. Wow, really loud, sorry. He's going to come back and then down. And then his back legs are going to come from the hips here, come down to his, kind of his knee, go back to the back of his leg, and then down for his foot or his paw. And the second leg, do the same thing. Okay, and then for his tail, I'm going to follow the line back here is his backbone line, and that's just going to come straight for the tail line. It's actually his tailbone, and the kind of the fur kind of comes around it a little bit. So it kind of gets a little fuller and then tapers off to the end. Okay. Now for the head, we're going to have the circle for the skull, but then about halfway through, we're going to cut that in half and bring that out for the snout of the wolf. So you have this really nice bridge, uh, kind of a dome right there for the skull coming to the bridge of his nose. Coming out, and then this part curves down. Just goes kind of down and curves right underneath his chin there. Okay, and then about, if you cut that circle in about half there, so you X that out, this is where the ears are going to come in, and they're kind of coming in little fluffy little points. And we'll put the other ear over here a little bit, Look that one in behind. And then we'll put the eye, the eye in there. And there we go. Now the nose, I'm just going to kind of round this point out, there's his nose, and have it come down just a little bit and then kind of indent in a little bit for his mouth. That's looking kind of fox-like. For, for a fox and a coyote, you, will, you would have that kind of a narrow snout. Wolves tend to have a little bit bigger of a mouth um, because they, they take on bigger prey. They can take down, you know, deer and moose and caribou and all that, so they're going to have a bigger jaw. Um, your coyotes and your foxes are going to be taking down squirrels and rabbits, so they're going to have a narrow mouth. Draw in his kind of bushy fur. Everything about a wolf in comparison to your coyotes and your foxes is going to be bulky in strength. They, um, they're long-legged though, they're very, they do have some super long legs and big feet, but they're just, they're sturdy in the dog world. 
So don't be afraid that you've got a stocky wolf. You kind of, if you want a healthy wolf, you want a stocky wolf. <laughs> And then depending also on what time of year it is, you're going to have a little bit shaggier. If it's in the wintertime, they're of course going to have a really good shaggy coat. And by drawing these lines a little jaggedy, you're going to give that indication of fur instead of just drawing just a straight line all the way down and around. Straight line, then stop, jag it back up, jag it. And don't make it uniform, not be like jag, 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 jag. Find it where you think the fur would be messed up. As it's coming here and going, then pulling down towards the shoulder, it's going to be jaggy. As it's coming around here and then pulls down for the tail, you're going to put some jags. Um, here bends a lot, so it's going to be jaggy. Um, there's going to be fur wrapping around here. It's going to be jaggy. So anywhere the fur begins to change direction, um, you put some kind of a jaggy fur lines. Okay, so now you can just erase this, uh, there are your lines, and clean it up a little bit. coloring of the fur um, and a little bit of detail on the ground there our wolf is just about done so I hope this helped you out if there's a position of the wolf that you'd like to see um, just leave a comment below um, if you want a pack of wolves or a wolf running or a wolf howling at the moon or a more of a cartoony wolf um, please let me know or if there's some other kind of animal you'd like to see um, definitely uh, leave a message and I will try to get a tutorial out on that and have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.